Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm showing you all the cards that I created with the Simple Stories Sweet Talk Card Kit. It is a beautiful kit that has everything laid out for you to create all of these cards I'm showing you. But what I'm going to show you next is how I add a few extra touches to each of these cards to create a little bit of an elevated look. I think the main thing that you could do to really bring these cards to the next level would be to add stitching to them. But since I'd already put the cards together, I didn't want to add stitching after the fact. So I just added a few little embellishments. So here's a closer look at the cards with the special little touches. So on this one turned out really cute. All I did here was put a flower like an acrylic flower in the center. I made two little bows and topped them with those sequins to give it a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of texture. And that's what that card looked like. The next one here, I put these flowers in the center of the other flowers that were already part of the card. I put a little heart on the tummy of the panda and a little bow on his collar. And uh, that's all that I've done different for that one. Here I've come in and put a little bow on this collar as well, but this time I used one of my beads that I have in the shape of a bow and just two simple flowers inside there. I really like the way that those flowers look inside of the other flowers. This one was also very simple. Just those flowers is the only thing that I added. I was thinking about adding something to the mailbox, but it just kept kind of cluttering it up and it really didn't need anything else, I find. What I really think would have been beautiful is if I had had some stitching, some like zigzag stitching just on there and then some stitching around that part, like that would have made this card beautiful. I added a little sparkle to this one here with those three little gems. This one has maybe the most things added to it. It's got the five little enamel dot pearls, a bow with the sequin and little peppermint candy inside, that little flower in the um, other flower. So lots of little dimensions added to that one. Again, another simple one. All I did with this was just add those pearls to the card. There was really a lot going on already on this one. I didn't really have um, anything else that I really wanted to add. Again, it would have been nice if I had added whoop, some stitching just along those pieces there. And then this is my favorite card. And again, I didn't do a lot for it, but add those sparkly gems and I really liked this card a lot even before adding those elements. So I thought that I would um, keep it pretty simple and uh, and not try to outcompete the cuteness that was going on here. So that's them. So yeah, as you can see, you can just do these cards. They're quite cute on their own. They're fun to go together. It's a, an interesting project to work on. This whole kit, and I will leave a unboxing video for you at the end. This whole kit was only $13.95, I believe, because I got it on sale. $13.45. It's the Simple Stories Lots of Love card kit. And I am going to be creating with another card kit from Simple Stories. And next time, I think I might do the stitching. So what do you think? Did the little tiny embellishments add a lot to these cards? Or did you like them the way they were previously? The nice thing about the way they were is that they could be sent as flat mail. Like this card is one. Um, actually, no, I popped stuff on all of them. You can see I've added dimension to almost every card. This one I did not. I didn't pop up anything on this one, but everything else I did make a 3D layer at some point. Um, it all popped up on foam dots to give it some added dimension. It gives a nice little shadow underneath. 
but um, you could just have them flat and then you can send them as letter mail very easily because there's no extra bumps to uh, jam up the machine. When you send letter mail, if it has little raises in the card, it, they often will charge you more for it because it might get kicked back from the machine and um, and that's one thing. I do have a really amazing video. I'll link it for you here and it is all about how to send postage flat mail in Canada. It's a really good video and I highly recommend you watching it if you live in Canada and you send a lot of mail, especially like little happy mail type packages because I give you a lot of tips on how to keep those costs down. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.